In today's video, you're gonna learn exactly how to create a call to action box that goes into your widgetized sidebar in WordPress. This means something with has a bit of an image and a bit of a catch to sort of grab someone's attention and to send them off to a page of your choice. So uh, the way we do that, we get started, is we're gonna look at this page here first. This is just a little test site I've been putting together lately uh, for some videos. And on the sidebar, it's got the basic stuff, the calendar, bits and pieces. It actually has this little uh, area I set up earlier. And what we're gonna do is show you how you can set that up. So I'm gonna actually delete all this. I'm gonna start from scratch and add just a call to action at the top. So I'm tabbed across to my sidebar. And what I wanna do is I wanna go to appearance and widgets. And most WordPress themes will have uh, the widget area off to the side it may be part of your settings that you have to change you should have a sidebar if you don't that's actually something you'll have to check out in your theme or under your theme customizer settings but essentially this is what we have we have our sidebar here and we've got a few items I'm just going to go through click on the three dots and I'm going to remove these blocks including this one and we're going to start from scratch so we've got nothing in our sidebar now and what we want to do is create our little call to action area the first thing we're going to do is hit plus and we're going to type in cover now this is using the later version of wordpress which has the block editor with the actual widgetized area uh it, more difficult to do with the old-fashioned widget editor but we're going to go to cover and we have an option to choose uh, a color and sort of like a background which is black and we've just got a black background at the moment. But what we can do, we have the block settings over here. We can change bits and pieces. We can also add an image. So if I go add media here, I can either upload or go to my media library. And I'll choose the same image I used before, which is this hand image. And I now have this background image I can use in my block. Now the block will appear differently, so it is worth actually previewing and checking as you go. And you have got a few settings such as you can change whether the content aligns to the center center or to the top center. And that way you can control the general look of the box. Uh, there's a few other things here such as duotone. So we can add in some cool effects here. So that kind of thing, if we really want to take control of how the image looks. So for now, let's stick with, um, we're actually gonna just clear this and just stick with the image. But that's something you can play with here. And you got a few other things such as toggle the full height. So you can actually make the height, uh, uh, you know, predetermined height. You got a few options across here to play with and including the alignment, you can change the alignment to center. All you need to do now is like any, any WordPress uh, blog post or page using the block editor is simply start typing. So now if I type in, I'm gonna say, put if you're a small business maybe we have a contact us for more information or contact us to get started so maybe we say something like get started today we hit enter and then we can start typing our normal paragraph blocks so contact us today okay. and we will sign you up to get started so that's what we've got there. We can also do the usual things such as bold this title. I can italicize this if I want to. I can even go into my normal text settings, change the color. All the usual bits and pieces you have with your text editor, you can do here. We can change the font size of this to say small, so 13 pixels, or maybe set a custom, maybe 15 pixels. Sitting off to the left looks a bit funny, so we're gonna go here and center align that. Next thing we're gonna do is hit enter gonna click the plus button over here, which is actually kind of hidden because of this image, but you know it's over there. And we're gonna put in a button. And we're just gonna say, contact us or something like that. You can have any sort of word you wanna to use to try and get attention for that call to action, you can pop in there. So once we've done that, we're gonna click the link button, type in the name of our page, so contact. And it'll give us some options yeah, or you can simply paste a URL in there if you have a landing page on MailChimp or something like that and link off to that as well. So we have our contact us button. It doesn't quite look the way we want it to, but it's starting to take shape. What we want to do is click, we're going to first I can click the button or I can click to the right of the button in a blank area to select this whole area. Because if I select just the button, I can't center it. So I go here 
and I can justify item center. So that way it's centered and I can also space space between the items. You can sort of play a bit with that. But essentially this is what we want. And then you can also add more buttons in there if you want to. Being a sidebar, it's probably good to have a nice simple single button. So that's what we're gonna focus on. I click on the button itself. And over here, if I don't have these options, there's this little cog I can turn on and off. I can change, I can have it as just a fill or an outline. So I can even just have it like that if I want to, but I'm not limited to a transparent background. If I scroll down to border settings, I can change the border radius for one to make it look more square. Under color, I can make text color white. I can make it green. I'm gonna stick with white or I can make the background green or even choose a gradient of some sort, set my own. So you've got all of these options here to play with. But for now, we're gonna stick with a solid color because I believe that works best personally. And to be honest, it's a little wishy-washy, so I'm gonna make the text black. So we've got our button, we've got our information. This particular theme doesn't quite look like this live. The fonts are correct, everything else is looking good. But let's just update that. And we're gonna tap across and refresh. So as you can see, my sidebar is quite thin. So if I zoom out, maybe it gets wider. No, sidebar is quite thin on this. We've got our title, we've got our text and a little button here. So that's a very easy way to create exactly what you see here. The other thing is we're starting to get a little bit into creative territory now. If I hit enter here, I can add blocks above. So if I want to, I can also add an image media library. So if I want to add a logo or something, maybe I've got a PNG, I can add this logo in here, which is quite big but I'm gonna resize that and center it. I don't wanna add a caption. We can also say, go down here, add in something such as a separator. I can make the color that same green color and I can play with all the settings I have there, dots, wide line, whatever, update that. So you actually have a lot of control over what goes into this block. So when I refresh, we now have this, a few more bits and pieces in there. So once again, now this is this theme in particular has very, uh, very tall line height. So that's what's happening here. Also, it's a rather thin sidebar, so we can actually widen this on this particular theme. Uh, to give you an idea, I'll just skip ahead. So I'm using the Divi theme. I've just sort of cut ahead here, and I can change the custom sidebar width so it's wider if I want something that stands out a little bit more. And of course, if you're on mobile or smartphone, this will just sit underneath. If, it's, if your theme is responsive with Divi, this will just pop it underneath the content and it'll actually resize and keep that image in place uh, how you want to. So that's essentially, that's how you can create a sidebar call to action. It's very easy, no plugins required as long as you have the latest version of WordPress and the block editor installed for your widgets, uh, then you can easily do this. Uh, anyone can do it very straightforward. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. If you want more videos like this for WordPress, please consider subscribing as I do release a lot of WordPress videos and have a lot of WordPress videos on our channel. So check that out. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.